Hi, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'd like to share with you how I used Annie Sloan's chalk paint to give an updated look to a dining table that my husband purchased from Habitat for Humanity's Restore. So just a quick word about Annie Sloan's chalk paint for those of you who might not be familiar with this wonderful product. I love to use chalk paint. I just discovered it recently at uh, one of my favorite stores uh, in my local area called The Stylish Patina. I'll link that down below. You do need to purchase a wax or some kind of sealer to put on top of it. You can't just leave it as it is or it will um, flake off over time. So I'll show you the waxing process. I'll also link um, down below the video that I recently did on how I refurbished my kitchen cabinets using Annie Sloan's chalk paint. And there I used a polyurethane to seal the chalk paint into the cabinets. So let's get started. This table was purchased at Habitat for Humanity's Restore for just $35. It's a very heavy, solid oak table with a leaf in the middle and a pretty cool gear system, but it's got a few scratches and ding marks, and also the stain wasn't really my style, didn't match the decor of my home. I knew it would look awesome with a couple coats of Annie Sloan's chalk paint. So here I am applying the first coat to the table. I did not have to stay on the table beforehand, I just started to paint. Especially for the first coat, don't worry about being too precise, just use long random strokes and really get the paint into the wood. Three coats later, I had a really beautiful full coverage finish. Here I'm going in with the Louis Blue and it is such a beautiful color. It actually comes up really nice here on the screen. In person, I think it's even prettier. And as you can see, very easy application. This is just the first coat and you can see how nicely it's covering this stained wood. It's absolutely wonderful paint. And another thing about chalk paint that I really love is that the odor is very low. You hardly smell anything. I actually suffer from asthma and so sometimes paint fumes can um, uh, trigger a reaction in me. But this paint gives me no trouble whatsoever. You can paint in the dead of winter and you don't even have to open your windows.
here you want to apply a thin layer of the wax using your brush or a rag um, across the top of your dried uh, chalk painted surface. Make sure you brush it on evenly and again not too thick and once you're finished with it you just wipe it off. When distressing, it's best to sand on areas that would naturally become distressed, like corners, edges, and raised areas. I used a piece of 100 grit sandpaper. With sandpaper, keep in mind that the higher the grit number, the finer the paper. If you want a more polished appearance, go with a higher number. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions about my latest DIY project, or if you have comments about what you'd like to see for a future video, please pop them in the comments box below. Best of luck on your next DIY project, and thanks so much for watching.